up with y'all? My name is Jackie, and we're back to my channel. So, if you watched the previous video, you saw how we caught those two big nice flounder. And now, we're about to go ahead and clean them up. I already done gutter them and everything, so I'll show you a little clip of that somewhere. In, either in this video or the next video, how to gut a flounder. Because you know how most fish, are, the anus is really on the back end of the fish by the tail? This one is by the head. Weird, right? That's how flounder are. So, and the fish kit bag I use is this Magellan, Magellan Outdoors fish kit bag. And I'll link that into the description or somewhere around in this video sometime about how to go to that video. This bag has been doing super awesome. All right, but enough of all that out there. What we're gonna be doing is taking one of these flowers right here. Ooh, still looks great. One of these flowers right here. And maybe do a bonus skin on fillet. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And the other one, we're gonna find out what to do with this one. Um, the bigger one right here. Yeah, we're gonna do probably like a stuffed flounder. All right, yeah, we're gonna do that. So get that one back in the bag for later. But this one right here, that's how to get worked on. All right, you see, it's, it's a good size. Stick two. It's gonna make some nice fillets. You see how we already got that right there. But enough talking, let's get to taking. What's up? Put my finger in your mouth. All right, so we're back. So let's go and get these fish. Well, one fish, find out of here. All right, we're gonna get the smaller one, which I believe this one right here. Yep, that's that one. For the big one, we're gonna do something else with it. Yeah, that's the big one. All right, put that back down up in there. with that ice 
Get that out the way. All right, so a few things you'll need. First off, of course, your catch. And you're gonna need that. You can't do a clean without the catch. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take the scales off too. So, you're gonna need a scale. You can get this at like Walmart or something like that. Uh, I believe this was a Berkeley descaler. Or I've heard um, people you actually using a dull knife. That is the old, old way. You're gonna need a short fillet knife. Okay, and this one's just a little bit more stiff than what I like it to be. I believe this is an old trail knife and a long one. I'm not gonna use this long one right here. I believe this was a nine inch fillet knife because it does have a really stiff backbone. So I'm gonna use this nine inch Berkeley fillet knife right here. You can see the backbone is really, really flexible and that could allow me to get around all those bones and everything pretty good. Um, what I use is the ceramic knife sharpener. So this gets your edge really, really sharp, like to a fine point. All right, so first off, what we're gonna do, move it out of the way. Take extreme caution when you're using knives. They will cut you. I just have to get that, get that disclaimer because a lot of people will be very flimsy with the knives and everything. It might look like that I'm being flimsy, but I'm actually not. I've been using knives nearly all my life. But, so I'll get into it, all right? This sign right here measured it, I believe it was like 18 and a half inches, if I'm not mistaken. So, I'm going to go ahead and scale it off. You're going to have scales flying everywhere. Because we're going to do skin on, boneless fillet. I scale it whole already because don't you're gonna have a lot tougher time trying to scale it when you have the fillets off people actually do the bonus fillet with a skinless bonus fillet but I'm doing this right here just sim so simply so if I decide to want to grill it I can grill it with the skin on you know skin on fish with grilled is very very tasty I like skin on my fish but you go ahead and skip this step right here if you don't want the skin on But it gives you the option to have the skin on, or you can even do skinless later on. I simply flame the scales off. I mean, not flame the scales off, flame the, the fillet from the skin. One side right there. If you're not as apparent on this side, when the scales are off, you just gotta kind of really feel with your hand. can see a little bit of color dif difference between scales being on and scales being off. You kind of see it was like a dull white, like a cream color. The scale was on. And now with the scales off, you see more pearl white. So, you'll be able to tell a difference.
there. Put it over to the side. All right. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get to separating these fillets. You actually have four fillets on the whole fish. So each side has a fillet. You can see this lateral line right here, and where and that's actually the backbone. So that's gonna be one fillet, second fillet, third fillet, fourth fillet. All right. So let's go and make a cut right down here, down his backbone. Follow that lateral line down completely. And while I went ahead and gutted it out too, you go ahead and just follow that one all the way up to here. Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and even separate the finger just a little bit. But I'm gonna keep on down here. You can feel that backbone. You can hear it right there. Now, I'm gonna slowly just angle your knife inward to get this fillet off. So you're gonna angle your knife inward from the point in and start like, you know, kind of chipping away at it. Watch your fingers though. I cannot stress that enough. Now you do want to make sure you are using the tip of your knife for around the stomach area because the rib bones do come out around the stomach area. And this portion right here, that's gonna cut off. So we're gonna cut that off after we get it separated. You can see right here, these are actually the the fins on this side right there. So what we can actually do, that fillet is all done now. Come right here, and then watch your fingers, and we'll start slicing down right here. So all the way down to the whole fillet. I'm just gonna cut all this off anyway. So we're gonna trim that. That's all that belly meat, belly meat right there. It's not too good. So, trim that right there. Make sure there's no bones in there. That's good. You have one fillet right there. Skin on, boneless fillet. All right. 
Now it's gonna be a lot easier to get this side over here. Just because you can actually see it. Alright, so now we just come across this side of the backbone right here. And now we'll angle our knife the other way in. Remember, still working the tip, pointer finger, and the back of the knife right here. Good guys. Not hitting more bones, we'll know we're near the actual fin down here. So, we'll cut that right there. You see, I got that fillet going off right there. I'm going to turn that fillet off. Exposed, we'll have no bones in there. That. That's taking a play right there. Skin on, boneless. Alright, let's go and start working on the back side. Alright, flip over. Alright, and we're going to do the same exact thing on this side. So, let's see if you see this lateral line right down here. That's what that line is. And plus you can still feel it on the backbone end. So you can actually flip it over, see where that backbone is, and right there. So this one right here actually kind of angles up just a little bit. So, let's put our line down. one's just going to be a little bit tougher on the bottom half. Again, too, go ahead and make that incision. That's all this one I forgot to do. So make that incision beforehand. Right behind that fin right there. Now, you either come through here, like I said, here, or you can just come out from the end. So, we're going to come through here. Just 
No bones in here at all. Not one. Good. All right. Now we're gonna work on the bottom side. So see that backbone right here. This backbone is actually curving up on this flounder. Pretty cool. Now most flounders I usually do, the backbone is pretty straight. poke through right here. Watch your fingers on the other side. Right there. Now you can clean the rest of that up. Now you see the difference between this one and this one right here. All this right here may be a little bit chewy and fatty. So that's why I really don't even do that like that. So me personally, I trim it off. That's trash too. And then you see he has some of this stomach meat right here, this belly meat. Go ahead and clean that off too. Boom. You have your fourth boneless skinless fillet. Boneless skin on fillet. Correction. So, but when you're done, you really want it to be kind of see-through. Like, not able to see it right there. Let's see, be able to see it. Almost no meat on these bones right here. You got a little bit by the head and everything, but hey, whatever, right? I'm gonna insert a picture in here of how this looks in the sunlight because this is how you're gonna want it to look. All right, so that is how you do a skin on boneless fillets for your fresh cut flounder. So this is either vertical, or most likely gonna be the grill. I right, even do pan, pan frying, pan searing, baking it or whatnot. But me, most likely, I'm gonna do the grill because I love grilling. So we're gonna get these all washed up and everything and put in some, put some bags. Make sure there's no more scales or anything like that, no bones in here. We can actually trim this little bit of fat off right here on this side too. So that's what we're gonna do. Kinda see 
that right there. Bounce are looking better right there. Yes. All right. So, if you like this video, you know, give a comment. It's something that you would do differently. Uh, comment that. Like. Subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna have more catching cooks, and it's gonna be separate episodes from the actual catching, which you know, catching cooks and whatnot, uh, different fish and whatnot, and we might even do. The unforbidden fish and nobody wants to talk about that. They can clean, they can cook and everything, which is all my bad. But we're going to have more videos of different fish to catch and cook. And the next video of the other flounder we caught, I'm going to do how to prepare stuffed flounder for that. It's going to be real good. Till next time, deuces.